Hey everyone, I hope you're all having a wonderful day today. Now today I wanted to do a little comparison between working and begging because we're always picking on the beggars and the people who ask for donations, but we actually don't have facts to support that. So why not try and make a video to compare working and begging together? So the rules for this video were that I did the same amount of time and work as I did in begging and I sped the video up just a little bit at a 110% just so it goes just that little bit faster but both videos are actually like the same length and there is one little thing you need to know about me I hate begging for donations especially because I have money enough and I know that so this was just a test to see what would happen I didn't do it on my main because then it would be different and people might have recognized me. I did it on an alt account. And for the work, I made sure that all my moods were very low. I wanted to reenact thinking that I didn't have a house, so I didn't have a place to get my moods up. The only downside to that is my level in delivery is 31. So you will probably, if you are a lower level, make less. It will probably still be quite a lot of money if you compare it to begging because as you can see right here I'm at a thousand six hundred and seventy four dollars for working and a thousand for begging which was a very kind of that person to do Marisa thank you very much a thousand dollars is actually quite a lot to donate and I was surprised how kind people actually were in the server it's like most people that I see begging get something like go to work and this and that I didn't get that I only got people saying like yes or you will see further on just people confusing me in some way but you will see that later in the video it was really funny to do so and yes my moods are down in the begging part as well but that's because I wanted to look a little more poor than I actually am so that's why I did that <laughs> and also the reason I said thank you so many times was because the blonde girl next to Marisa said she was gonna donate as well so I was kind of like in an awkward position waiting if she was gonna donate or not so I kept saying thank you to like I don't know, wait for the donation. It was kind of awkward, so I just left and I didn't get a donation from her. I probably wouldn't have gotten one, so I, I just left there. Then this one was really funny as well. I was like, oh my god, am I gonna get another donation this fast? What if I get more from begging than working? Then the entire point of this video is ruined and I was like, should I start begging people for money? Oh my goodness, what if I get rich that way? But like, she just got out of build mode because I said hi and then I'm like, can you please donate? And she went back into build mode, which was very sad, but I was like, how do people donate this much and this fast? I didn't know donating worked so well, but I, I was wrong. I kept hanging at that $1,000 mark. And as you can see, in the meanwhile, working gets me like a lot of money. I already made 5,691, now 7,031 compared to a thousand dollar from begging but i get if you beg a lot sometimes you might get lucky sometimes maybe someone will donate a lot of money i don't know how it goes i never really used to ask for money i immediately found out that working was way more efficient and i did that so i don't know are there any of you who beg a lot who get crazy big donations let me know in the comments because i really want to know how you guys do it i at this point was so done begging already that i just started knocking on the door and i kept repeatedly knocking and then for some reason i decided to just stop for a minute stand there and start dancing I, I really don't know what went on in my head, but I was like, do I really need to donate or do I really need to beg for money for another five minutes? Oh my goodness. My face was the same as my Roblox face. That moment I realized that was another five more minutes of begging for money. And then it hit me. I was like, I did all the people in the server, well, almost all the people, I was like too lazy to just go to the other side of town, so I didn't. But I feel like no one would donate there anyway, so I guess, I guess I, I just uh, left, so I asked one more time to please donate, but there wasn't any response. So I decided it might be best to just go to another server. And what's the best way to go to another server than ending this server with like a bad, bad message for people who didn't donate me? 
But at this point, I was still wondering whether I should go to the other side or whether I should join another server. So I was still walking towards there and I was slowly changing my mind of changing a server because I didn't want to walk there at all. So here is where I put my angry face on and say the message that I wanted to say for a long time. I wanted to slowly turn around to make it have more impact. Here it is. Yes, that was literally the only thing I could come up with because I've seen it happen so many times where someone wants to get donated and then they don't get donated and they're like, ugh, I am leaving this server. This server hates me. I'm going somewhere else. Yo, I hope something bad will happen to you. But that probably doesn't make it any less underwhelming than it already was. So thank you for the buildup. And at this point, I was still stuck at that $1,000 mark for begging while working was already at $12,388. But that was soon about to change thanks to those two people there. And I was really happy to meet them. They were so kind and they actually donated me as well. So thank you so much to Kokoyo and Googly Shoogly for donating. That meant a lot as well. So thank you very much. But it was also funny because at that point when I got there, they, they were like flexing about how many Robux they each had. And one was like trying to be better than the other. So I probably got there at the perfect time because if they didn't donate, they probably would have felt bad after saying they have so many Robux and after saying that they just bought money on Bloxburg. So I guess I kind of like joined on the perfect moment there. <laughs> And in the meanwhile, on the right side, I was still grinding and I made $15,000 so far compared to $1,188 on the left side. And so I decided to just go around again. I probably forgot to mention that I changed into a kid because if I changed into a kid, I would probably make more money than if I was an adult. And I also wanted to, uh, but I didn't have to, use the excuse that I can't work because I'm a kid and I don't have a closet at home even though I did because I just uh, bought the starter house so if some people like look at my house while I'm asking for donations that they don't see a big house or like my penthouse I built recently I load that in quite a bit and um, and it was just in hopes that they didn't see that I actually had more money than they probably would expect so I just changed into a kid changed my outfit a little bit to like a pajama style thing in hopes of just getting more donations. So here is the confusing part in the begging section that I was talking about. So I saw this girl, no one seemed to be home and I was like, okay, finally someone. And I ran to that bike, I was like, hi, can you please donate money? And everything went well, like she said hi. But then like, she started saying those words like GB and then she said some more things. And I was like, okay, this girl she's trying to avoid the filter and the hashtags so she's gonna say something rude to me but like everything she said didn't make sense at all and at a certain point i was like a uh, question mark and then she just said a uh, question mark i was so confused i was like i asked you for a donation you, you could have just said no but you said words that don't make sense I was super confused and I, I really didn't know what to feel I just walked away because I was like creeped out a little bit but here is also when I realized that donating can be fun it's like when you're working it gets boring easily I don't mind admitting that because I think after five minutes of working it just gets boring and you just you're like, okay, just gonna focus on the money now. When begging, you meet new people and it's just fun having like, even when they start fighting you, it's like funny because people get so winded up sometimes <laughs> for the donation things. And I don't know, it's, it's kind of trolling as well. So kind of, I don't know, I kind of started enjoying myself, but I was like, okay, I think, I think I begged enough people. I think I annoyed enough people. So just gonna stand here and start dancing again. 
because I was kind of like in the middle between should I ask for uh, more donations or should I just stop? And I stopped. And the end result was from begging, I got $1,188. And from working, I got $21,762, which meant I made 18 times more by working in the time I made $1,188 from begging. So working definitely is the better thing to do. You don't annoy people, you're just being there. So I suggest if you hate working, try working for five to 10 minutes every single day and you will already see that you make more by working than by begging. That was the video for today. I hope this helps you out comparing these two. I just really wanted to do this and I like doing it most of the times. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button and please subscribe.